Hello everyone and welcome back to Layback Gaming. Today we are taking a look at our mellow, uh, tabletop board game type game that recently got released to, uh, Steam. Um, I'm not really too sure how else to explain it other than it was meant to be a tabletop game, um, and now it's a PC game. So let's jump right on in, and I'll try to explain a little bit more as we go along. Alright, so first off, we select the character. I am going to be Thane, the Winter Wolf. And we got five fight, four health, three with three spirit. We got three, uh, one clan bonus, four starting gold, and three is my hand set. And I have a sword master. Sword cards burned in battle cannot be blocked by opponent's defense. Okay, Sapphire plus one action at night. Uh, Alright, um, I guess that's all we really got. Alright, good enough. Let's go. From the rat to the bear, the clans declare the time has come to take the thorn. From Ross creeping is twists our king, and that moved way too fast that I couldn't read it all. <laughs> the race for the throne has begun. All right, a new dawn breaks. Our king creeps closer to death. All heroes have received dawn income. The race for the throne has begun. Great. The mysterious ones. Your clan always have arranged a meeting with a local hunter who can offer advice, but be wary, for none can be trusted in these lands. Okay. So, we can move up here. Kingdom- Whoa, before you go any further, you'll want to get a lay of the land. The Kingdom of Armello is defined by tiles, denoting the different terrain types. Plains, basic terrain, no effect. Forests, provide stealth at night. Mountains, minus two action points to climb, but provides plus one bonus shield in battles. Settlements, generate plus one gold per dawn when claimed. Swamps cause minus one health from sickness, flies, and hard going. Stone circles regain one health in the mystical groves, and dungeons are dangerous places filled with treasures and banes and more. Alright. Let's go do this uh, questing, I guess. An unease rustles through your fur as you approach the stone circle. The hired hound leans against one of the standing stones. Come on in, he says, chuckling, though there is something off about how he says it. It could be nerves, or it could be a trap. I draw my sword, and this old hound needs to learn some manners. Hmm. Um, call the hound and have him come to you. Call the hound's bluff and awaken the stone crystal. Uh, let's call out the hound and have him come to us. Awesome. So we got one gold. And one of whatever this thing is and one of the, whatever that thing is <laughs> um i'm not too sure what those are and i can't hover over them to find out unless gold let's yeah hmm. oh here we go it's prestige prestige is key to holding political sway in the kingdom all right each dawn the king will come upon the prestige leader to advise him on the days declaration. Additionally, through the king died of his illness, the procedure leader will be named as rightful here to the throne winning the game. Sweet. Alright. Carrying on. Um, can we go over to this village here? Uh, so, ooh. End turn, I guess. Now we're gonna have Amber's turn. So we're fighting against these other creatures to, like, rule the castle, I guess? Still haven't figured out this game, but, um, I can now see why it's kind of like a tabletop type game. Or that was the original idea with the way, like, the maps lay there in the hexagon type tile squares. Very interesting. Alright, 
Darkness Falls across our mellow. And no, a dragon that's gonna kill this guy probably. Or is that kill the edge? Alright. Ah, it seems there's a new prestige leader in the kingdom. Sweet. Um, let's go here. Settlement gives you gold each dawn while captured. Um, let's go to the forest, I guess? I can obviously see him over here. Uh, let's go attack this guy. Let's get into a battle. Battle. When doing battle, both parties roll a number of dice equal to their fight stat. You can cause damage to your opponent by securing more attack dice than their defense dice. Should the combat and who causes the most damage to survive, they will win the battle. If the attacker wins the battle, they will advance and take the tile, pushing the defender back. If the combatant takes enough damage to deplete their health, they will be killed, ending their turn and sending them back to their climb castle. Sweet. So I got a lot more dice by the looks of it than he does. Um, our million dice battle. The wheel tree explodes, grants an attack and rule a bonus die. The sun grants an attack when ruled during the day. The moon grants an attack when ruled during the night. Sword grants an attack. Shield is defense, and worm counts as a miss. Okay. Let's uh, roll these dice. What do we get here? We got four attack and one defense. Five attack. Alright, looks like I won that one. Alright, uh, let's go over here to this... Dungeon. Exploring dungeons can be a very dangerous or very profitable exercise. Dungeons are the best source of treasure's gold and wandering followers. But beware, sleeping horrors also haunt these ancient tomes. Exploring the dungeon is an automatic process activated by entering a dungeon tile. The chances of successful outcomes when exploring dungeons can be improved by equipping appropriate items and followers, and the odds and quantities of rewards vary from day to night. Okay. You explored a dungeon and found... What have I found? Oh, I wanted through a portal. Okay. Uh, let's take a look. What do these critters do? In battle, enemies have minus two fight until the end of your next turn. Find more gold and magic when you explore. Um, in battle, gain plus one sword, plus one health, and one action. Hmm. Alright, let's continue on here for everybody else to finish their turn. There's no game time. A new dawn breaks. King's last question. Every dawn, the king will put forth two declarations to the prestige leader. The hero must select one of these two declarations. Once selected, this declaration is announced to all their animals in Armella and becomes law until the next dawn. Tip. Being the perceived leader and in control of which king's declaration is passed into law is powerful and favorable position to be in. Okay. The king calls that and he contributes a spirit. The king's sorcerer will siphon one magic from all players. Can't pay, lose one prestige. Ooh. King's guards. Every dawn the king's guard patrols the kingdom of our melt. <sighs> Police the settlements, prepare boundaries, and put down bands. At the start of the game, the King's Guards are neutral and will generally ignore heroes and protect settlements in the kingdom, but the King's Guards can be mobilized by the King to hunt down and execute heroes. King's Guards receive a bonus die during the day and are equipped with the signature weapon, a hero's halberd. Killing a King's Guard will cost you one hero prestige. Okay. That's fine. Plain Pearls. Playing Pearls in Armel is a core mechanism of hindering and undermining the actions of other heroes on their quest to the throne. Most spells and tricky cards can be placed as Pearls to play a Pearl to 
the map you will need to have the resources to play the card. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, let's play that card. Play from. Uh, cannot play. Card's not equipable. Um. We can play that card. And let's do our minus. One health and minus one action points. Uh, never mind. We don't want that. Play to force swamp. Play to swamp. Equipable. Can you clip this, please? Oh, the sword. There you go. There we go. Now I got a little bit more attack and stuff like that. Um, let's move on up to the mountains here, I guess. In turn. Drawing some cards now. I'm going for another dungeon. And he's just gonna finish off the swamp. Magic and spellcasting. Most heroes in their quest for the throne will lean upon their spellcasting abilities, no matter how limited. In almost all cases, spell cards are cast using a hero's magic resource. Each death, all heroes' magic levels are reset to match that of their spirit stat. Spell cards are limited in range by the power of the caster's spirit stat. Alright. Bane seek to terrorize and feed on settlements, unclaiming any they reach from laying ways to anything in their past. A Bane's rod increases by plus one every night. Bane's will regain plus one health for every character they kill. Bane receives a bonus die at night. Slaying a Bane is a prestigious deed, but beware, dying to a Bane will result in plus one rot. Okay. Select one card to fill your hand. Uh, Trickery. Target loses one health for each AP spent until the end of their next turn. Gotcha. Now we got another dungeon. And we got a spirit stone. You, uh, should you bring your four spirit stones to the king's throne, you will purge the king of the rot and save the kingdom of Ramel winning the game. Alright, so we need four spirit stones to win the game. Interesting. The royal palace. Entering the royal palace is dangerous. There, firstly, the palace is surrounded by four difficult. Palace Perils, which will touch your whistle or spirit. Falling to the king's perils will kick you out of the palace. Any moves made into the palace over then will consume all your remaining action points. The king will call the king's guard to war should any hero make an attempt to enter the palace. Uh, then let's not go to there. He encountered a group of druids. Um, point to the wildy tree. The dream will lead you to a pond beneath an ancient and garnel tree. You battle in, you bathe in the waters, your soul is cleansed. Sweet. And I completed the quest. So guys, as you can tell, the point of the game is basically just keep on going until uh <laughs> you find those stones. But guys that's all the time we have for today for our, our mellow uh, first look but uh, definitely check the game out on Steam Early Access let me know what you think of the game in the comments down below and until next time peace out